Flood 50, it's, you know, when I was, you know, contemplating on this stuff, thinking about it, uh, that just came from the desire of, I mean, I just want to flood heaven. I want to flood the Father's heart with thankfulness and praise for who He is. That's it, for who He is. You know, worship is a, a, a key element in Humboldt, and it's always been a key element with Lifehouse. We feel like it is the key to everything we're doing in Humboldt County, and uh, Lifehouse Fortuna's always had a key on worship, so for us it's just a no-brainer. Worship is the most important thing for us in Humboldt, and there's a sound that comes out of this place like uh, no other place I've ever heard, and uh, it's a sound that really originates just kind of deep underground, and you can almost hear it humming, you know, and just trying to get out. And, and I think that's what we're hearing right now. I think we hear some sounds coming out of here that, that I haven't heard before, and so it's pretty exciting. We were just in there uh, doing a set, and all I could think of is the, that verse where Jesus says, you worship me in spirit and truth. And I just thought, this is, this is happening, this is the deal, it's spirit and truth. And there's something about being in his presence that postures ourselves, not just to receive, but to give. And it's because when we're in his presence, it just breaks open what he's doing. We figure out where we are in him, and we're just, it's, it's, beyond, it's beyond any other thing we can do. It is, it is the most spectacular event is being in his presence and, and just connecting with him. 50 hours, you can stay here and just use that time and be greedy with God and go deep and just go for it. Whereas on a Sunday morning, sure, I can still feel God. Of course I can. We're still worshiping the same God, but 50 hours, it's like, it's just time. I don't know. It's just time to go for it. It's time to just spend hours with your best friend, you know, spend hours with your dad. I just, and especially on a corporate level, that's what's cool too, because you can spend hours with God at home, but and worship at home, but on a corporate level, there's just something really powerful about that. We've been doing this for quite some time together, my wife and I, and uh, one thing we know is that worship comes from the heart, and uh, when we saw the care that was put into putting this event together, uh, the attention to detail, um, there's family here, and I knew that we were gonna have a safe place to let our gift be explored, to come before God, that there was gonna be a body of Christ that was gonna engage that, and invite the Holy Spirit together with us because it's not a one-man show, you know, a one group show or whatever. But uh, the Holy Spirit wants to see one accord. He wants to see open hearts. All we care about is the artist being able to express their heart. What was put in their hands, they can give to God as a gift, uh, unbiased. There was a reason that the musicians and the singers and the praise and worship team went before the armies. And, you know, this is... The 50th year of Jubilee, there's a flood coming, there's a sound from the ground, and it's, it's, it's His voice, and we're participating in that.